how's everybody doing this evening? It is a nighttime for me. It is 8, 9, 40, almost 9, 40. Yeah, 9, 43. My phone says 9, 43. Okay, so what I've got for you for this video is... If there's any stuff before chapter one in these two new books that I bought. Okay, so Closer to Love, How to Attract the Right Relationships and Deepen Your Connections by Vex King. The number one best-selling author of Good Vibes, Good Life. Okay. And there's a picture of a dog. I have no idea if it's his dog or not. It's so cute. Okay. It says, I deeply admire your capacity to love. If only I and others could love as purely as you, the world would be a better place. Thank you for being my greatest teacher. Okay, and this says, share images or videos of your favorite pages, quotes, and experiences related to this book on social media using hashtag closer to love so I can see them and share them across my platforms. For more inspiration, follow my social media platforms, all at vexking, all lowercase, and sign up to my mailing list using the QR code below. And there's a QR code. So I had no idea if you can scan that or not from this video. It has a QR code. Okay. So this is the introduction. How can you share your life with someone else if you are disconnected from yourself? How can you establish closeness if you are emotionally distant from your own emotions? The truth is, it is virtually impossible to build a healthy relationship with another person if you haven't built one with yourself first. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I felt as though the wind had been knocked out of me. And even though I could see it coming from a mile away, I was still staggered by the impact of my first heartbreak. In a single moment, all I had known of love was wiped away and the future I created in my mind dissipated. For some time, I became a shell of my former self. You could say it was a brutal, painful, but obviously necessary wake-up call for my spiritual and emotional expansion. If it wasn't for the ending of multiple important relationships, I may have never learned to sit with my own darkness and crawl my way back to love. When relationships fall apart, so does the illusion of the joint future you had mapped out in your mind. And the tighter you cling to those hopes, the harder you fall. But despite the isolating feeling of heartache, I soon realized that there was nothing unique about the earth-shattering sensation I was experiencing. Most of us have gone through a breakup and lost someone we're attached to or in love with. And if you find yourself in that position now, I know how lost, hurt, and hopeless you must be feeling. You might not see the rainbow at the end of the storm yet, but I have. And I'll assure you there. During every post-breakup healing process, I would roll my eyes at the sight of happy couples who seemed privy to the meaning of love and the secret to lasting relationships. Why did they know or have what did they know or have that I didn't? This confusion and jealousy was a knee-jerk reaction because of my lack of self-awareness. But everything changes when we become empowered by our role in a relationship. 
Many of us don't take the time to recover. And instead of doing a deep dive self-inquiry about how we may have contributed to our own heartache, we seek out another person to help alleviate our longing for love. Then we repeat the cycle. As some of you might already know, I'm not a psychologist or professional marriage counselor, and some of what I write may not align with you. The way you interpret anything you read also depends on your current emotional state, past experiences, and the context in which you are reading this book. That said, I've spent most of my adult life learning about self-development and looking into different approaches to building strong relationships, and I'll share all of that with you here. I've always been motivated by my own belief that we are capable of living full, blissful lives if we are given the tools to do so. Love is a basic human need, but it's also our greatest superpower. A life lived with love is rich, abundant, and rewarding. And if we can share that with someone special, all the better. You may carry wounds from a decade ago that have begun to open up again in your current relationship. You feel the love slipping away, but have no idea how to save what's so important to you. Or perhaps your relationship lacks the emotional depth and intimacy you desire and you want to be closer to the one you love. The most important thing I can share with you is not to wait. Don't let one more month, year, or decade go by without a heart-centered self-reckoning. By becoming radically honest about your relationship patterns, aware of your needs and attachments, and closer to understanding how to nurture and love yourself, you will liberate your heart and know how to experience authentic connection, intimacy, and true love. When you are able to collect all the little pieces of your heart and show up fully in a relationship, the deep connection and bond you can experience are supreme. Often, modern relationships suffer from a lack of loyalty, fulfillment, and depth. That makes a lot of sense because our relationship can only meet us in the place we are at emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. But it is possible to grow and move on to a more authentic way to live. This book is an innovation to do something different, to pause, reflect, and liberate yourself from troubling relationship patterns. The following chapters will help you to elevate how you and why you love. Learn how to do so in healthy and unconditional ways. Develop new relationship habits and deepen your connection to self so that all shared love comes from a place of authenticity and self-knowing. Use your heartbreak as a catalyst for your growth. Discover why you keep repeating unhealthy relationship dynamics. Actualize your ability to build thriving relationships, romantic or otherwise. With every page you read, welcome new ideas about your capacity to give and receive love. Insecurities, fears, and doubts may rise to the surface as your heart 